firstly, I'd like to thank the returning officer. I'd like to thank the returning officer for instilling some quiet in the room firstly, so thank you very much there. All the good people who have been counting the votes tonight, I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank South Coast Labour councillors, my campaign team, my agent, Steve. I'd like to thank the police here tonight for protecting the democratic traditions of our country. Mostly though, I'd like to thank the people of Southport and the Northern Parishes for lending me your support today. Because no matter how people have voted previously, the voices of local people in support of bringing positive change to this country have rung out tonight. I thank every single person who's offered me their support. There will be many people in this constituency. There will be many people in this constituency who have voted Labour for the first time at this election. And I want to thank every single one of you for putting your trust in me. I also promise to those of you who didn't vote for me today that I will work tirelessly in your interests to be a voice and a representative for the entire community in Westminster. I'd like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to my fellow candidates, for each of them acting in good faith during the election period, and for the positive way in which they have all approached the contest. Particularly, I want to pay tribute to Southport's outgoing MP, Damien Moore, Damien, you've conducted yourself with dignity throughout the contest. I'd like to thank you for that. I'm sure we'll share a rare note of agreement when I say that Southport is a wonderful part of the world and it's going to be an honour, the honour of my life, to represent the town and its surrounding villages in Parliament. This is a vote for a working class candidate and a Labour Party focused on the priorities of working people. We are going to fight for economic security, for cheaper bills, for safer streets, for the NHS back on its feet, for secure borders and better opportunities for our children. We ran this election nationally as a changed Labour Party and I thank the people of Southport for putting your trust in us to change the country. Along with all my colleagues in the next parliament, I'm realistic about the immense challenges that face us. There's no magic wand, but I and the party more, more generally, the Labour Party more generally, have a laser focus on what it will take to get Britain's future back and to make sure that our best days lie ahead. At this election, the people of Southport have spoken. They've rejected the chaotic politics of the populist right. And it's time to end the chaos and the dysfunction that Westminster has seen too often over previous years. But that will take time. We've had 14 years of decline under the Conservatives and now, collectively, we, emb we embark on a decade of renewal. My last message to the people of Southport and the Northern Parishes is this. If you want to be part of that decade of renewal yourself, get in touch. My email address and my phone number have been on every single leaflet and letter and piece of literature put through every single letterbox in this constituency over the past six weeks. So to everyone with something positive to offer our towns and villages, let me know, get in touch with me. Let us work together to achieve that renewal. We have no time to lose. My office will be set up within days We'll be working to see how best to implement 
the new government's national program, program of change locally. And I will get on with the job that you've sent me to Westminster to do. Tomorrow, the work of change begins, but tonight, let's celebrate a new start for our town. Southport, thank you so much. You're the best.